7 News Detroit is getting to the bottom of what's been an ordeal for Corey Harris of Detroit. You've probably seen the viral video by now. It's gone around the country. He was the man seen driving during a virtual court hearing in Washtenaw County for driving on a suspended license. 7 News reporter Kimberly Craig was able to track Harris down, who is adamant that the suspension should have been lifted more than two years ago. Well, tonight, Kim is back on the story with information that could help a lot of people facing a similar situation. Trying to get to the bottom of why Corey Harris's driver's license is still suspended for child support has been incredibly frustrating. For two days now, I've been trying to ask anyone at Saginaw County's friend of the court what could have gone wrong and still no answers. They were supposed to have been lifted it two years ago, but they didn't. Detroit Corey Harris is talking about the Saginaw County friend of the court suspending his driver's license for child support, something he says he resolved two and a half years ago, and a judge in Saginaw County rescinded that suspension, allowing Harris to drive again. So he says he was shocked when Pittsfield Township Police cited him in October for driving on a suspended license. You stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. This is the video of the virtual court hearing that went viral after a judge ordered Harris to jail for driving with a suspended license. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. Harris admits he was driving to get his wife to the doctor, but what he can't understand is why his license was still suspended two and a half years after the judge ordered it lifted. The Saginaw County friend of the court has not responded to our calls. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to revisit the story, the viral story about a man who apparently isn't intelligent enough to not drive while having a suspended license and showing up to court via a Zoom call, okay? This guy was driving while he was Zooming into court for a hearing involving the fact that he had got cited for having a suspended license, right? Which is not a very smart move, okay? Obviously, when it comes to this guy, um, you know, the elevator doesn't go all the way to the top floor. Now, this story I'm revisiting because a lot of people were apologizing to this man because they thought that people had prematurely judged this man for doing something that was extremely stupid, right? Because new uh, information came out suggesting that, hey, the court made an error. Uh, his suspended license uh, should have been reinstated back in 2022. So you had some people come out and make apology videos and say, oh, well, it's the judge's fault. It's the court system's fault. This man is innocent. They embarrassed this man. And I said, listen, I'm going to wait, right? I'm going to wait for more information to come out because my common sense was telling me that, hey, I don't think a mistake happened here. I personally believe that if this man's license uh, should have been reinstated back in 2022, there was probably something that he didn't do uh, in order to make it official, okay? Because it's not as simple as just having it reinstated. There's also other hoops that you have to jump through in order to get clearance that, hey, your license is actually reinstated and that you can drive, okay? And just knowing the history of this man not paying his child support, which I believe is one of the reasons why his license was suspended in the first place, or why he didn't have a valid license. Um, yeah, I was like, eh, this guy doesn't seem to be too responsible, right? I, I think that there's more to this story, so I'm just going to wait. And lo and behold, lo and behold, we now have a new story, a new twist that suggests that this man never really had a valid license in the first place, and now he's going back to jail after this boohoo wine and crime fest, claiming that the court was wrong, that the judge was wrong for sending him to jail for driving without a suspended license, okay? So uh, without further ado, let's get into this. New tonight, a shocking twist for the man who went viral for driving during a virtual court hearing for a suspended license. Corey Harris showed up in person at a Washtenaw County courthouse today, hoping to set the record straight and put this entire saga behind him. Instead, we're reporting on a brand new chapter. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig has been keeping up with the twists and turns of this one. She was in court today as it all unfolded. Well, nothing went the way Corey Harris thought it was going to go in court today. The judge started off by slamming Corey Harris, saying he's never even had a valid driver's license. And the afternoon ended with Harris 
going to jail. The person that needed to be blamed is the person that he was staring at in the mirror. He didn't do what he should have done. The judge came ready to set the record straight with Corey Harris, who has claimed that he thought the suspension on his driver's license was removed two years ago. That court and its friend of the court did nothing wrong. His driving privileges were unsuspended in 2022. That required Mr. Harris to do something. He didn't do it. The ding, 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 <laughs> right? Ding, 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 which again is why I did not uh, come out with an apology video because I was like, mm, I don't believe that this is the full story, okay? Because again, it's not that simple. It's not as simple as this guy was making it out to be. And everybody was running with his side of the story as if he was right. The judge is wrong. The, the court system messed up. This is what happens to black men. All that nonsense. I was like, nah, 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 nah. This guy, again, was not intelligent enough to realize that, hey, I shouldn't be driving with a suspended license. Like, this dude knew that his license was suspended. He knew his license was suspended. Right. This is why he was in court. OK, that part of the story didn't make sense to me. There's like, well, if you recently got cited in October for driving with a suspended license, then, you know, that the process didn't happen the way that you thought it happened. Right. That, you know, your driving privileges weren't fully restored. That there's something else that you needed to do that you didn't take care of your responsibilities. But again, this is a guy who has a history of not paying his child support. You know, it, it seems like he doesn't really uh, do well when it comes to taking care of his basic responsibilities. You can't blame the court for this. This is all on this guy. The judge said Harris never paid his clearance fees with the court or the Secretary of State to lift the suspension, but that's not all. He has never had a Michigan license. Ever. We asked Harris yesterday if he ever had a valid driver's license. He claimed he didn't remember. Do you ever recall having one? Having a driver's license? I knew I had a permit. I, I knew that. A, a driver's permit or? I, I believe. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I can't say yes and I can't say no. And that's wow. all. Wow. Wow. And um, again, guys, this is what I said in my first video. And I, and I stick by this, you know, like this is why I'm not a believer in full democracy, right? This is why I'm not a believer in that, okay? I, I just personally think that we have rules for a reason, okay? When Republicans pass these vote ID laws, right? You know, a part of it is just a test, right? It's a test to see, okay, you know, are you responsible enough at a basic level, right, to vote in our elections, right? That, that That's kind of what it is, okay? This is why I don't have a problem with it, okay? If you're not responsible enough, if you don't know how to get an ID, right, to obtain a driver's license, then I'm just saying maybe, just maybe, you got bigger issues in your life than voting, right? I'm just saying, right? I'm, I'm just saying that, um, you know, situations like this, stories like this, again, remind me of why I take the Socrates approach when it comes to so-called democracy, right? I'm so serious. I'm so serious. I mean, I, I really do believe that the founders made this country a constitutional republic for a reason, right? Stories like this is exactly uh, why, in my opinion. Uh, because the Pittsfield Township police officer and prosecutor said during that October traffic stop, Corey Harris knew what was up. At least twice during this traffic stop, he acknowledged to the officer that he did not have a valid license. Quote, unquote, quote, actually, I don't have a valid license. Close quote. The question was, are you a valid driver? Quote, I am not. There was no error by anybody. It was a failure on the part of Mr. Harris to do certain things. Now, I grant you that sometimes that can be a complicated process, but it was certainly not anybody's fault that that didn't happen other than that wasn't paid. Then came the unexpected. He has a warrant for his arrest. Corey Harris was taken into custody for what appears to be a nine-year-old bench warrant out of Allen Park. So was I shocked? Absolutely. Did I want my client to walk in and then get escorted to the back? Absolutely not. That was not the plan. The shocking thing about it. for a driving while license suspended that he didn't take care of. It should be something that a lesson for all of us. Handle your business. At the end of the day, handle your business. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. Yeah, so that's a no-nonsense judge. Right? I kind of like that judge, right? He don't play no games. 
He don't play the game. He ain't gonna let nobody fool him and try to humiliate and embarrass him. Uh, trying to say that well, he made a mistake and all oh, this is his fault. No, 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 no. This guy knew that his license was suspended when he got pulled over by the police, right? He knew he didn't do something. And this is why, again, I, I never came out with the apology video or any of that other stuff that a bunch of people were doing because I was like, nah, I'm not wrong, <laughs> right? This ain't wrong. The judge ain't wrong. The court is not wrong. Like, th this guy definitely didn't do something, right? Did something missing here, okay? Um, but, you know, I mean, this is the unfortunate reality of why some people stay a part of the system, right? When you can't fulfill your basic responsibilities, like, for example, pay your child support, okay, which I guess is part of the reason why he's in this situation, you can't take care of your kids, then, you know, I only can feel so bad for you when this stuff happens. Now, again, some people may ask, well, why should his license be suspended uh, for not paying child support? You know, how is he going to get to work? Well, it's like, okay, <laughs> how else are you supposed to enforce that, right? A man should take care of his kids, period. And if a man doesn't do that, but yet he goes out here and he continues to reproduce, especially if he continues to reproduce, uh, despite not taking care of his current kids. There should be harsh consequences for doing that, okay? Because that has such a negative effect on society, okay? I, I really do uh, have a negative view upon men who do not take care of their children, right? Who do not pay their child support, who do not take care of their basic responsibilities because that is what you're supposed to do as a man. Like, that is the basic function of of a man okay so yeah it really is hard for me to feel bad for the guy because he just doesn't take care of basic responsibilities okay this stuff is not hard it just takes a basic level of intelligence to get this stuff done and to make sure that his business is straight with the system but he's not doing that and he wants to kind of blame everybody else and you know not take responsibility for his own actions that put him in this situation so I don't know, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.